Huh? Do you want to speak? No, no, for the phone. Where's Reese's poem? So we've got a poem or a speech that was written from one of the boys that aren't here right now. All born and bred in Watford. If you're born and bred in Watford, can I hear some noise, please? That doesn't sound like it's a Watford get together. I just want to say as well, um, a lot of the boys that I grew up with in Watford are still here standing strong. You know, one or two, three or four, maybe five or six aren't with us right now, but that's how it goes. So for the ones that are here, I just want to say well done for organising such a prosperous and motivating event today. It was just done off of like a conversation in a WhatsApp group that has brought us all together here today. Um, so well done for the boys as well. The Watford Alliance boys, well done. Please, can we get a round of applause for them as well, please? And also, as I've heard, um, it's not like black versus white, black versus Asian, black versus Indian. It's a matter of the African and Caribbean community, 100%. And I'm proud of everyone that's here and I appreciate the people that aren't from that heritage coming together and supporting our cause. So that's first and foremost, thank you so much. So here we have um, a, a few words from my friend, Reese Tim. Oh, it's not Reese Tim, who is it? Fatal Reese. Oh, Reese Fatal. Okay, Reese Fatal. Me and him used to get up to a lot of mischief when we were younger. And you can never judge a man for who he once was. As you said, it's not what you do, it's who you are. So here we have from Fatal Reese. Today we join many thousands of protesters in the UK and many hundreds of thousands across the globe. We stand united against the virus that has been instrumental in taking lives. Lives of the young, old, rich, and even poor. A virus that is not apologetic, a virus that spreads across all sectors of our communities, sports, education, churches, entertainment, the media, and even the government. Not just in the UK, but across the world. The virus has been declared a pandemic. It is out of control. And I'm not actually talking about COVID-19. The virus I'm referring to is called racism. How long are we going to allow racism to spread for our communities and right now we are in the community and affect our lives without using the vaccine you already have in your possession what is the possession me and you you are the vaccine i am the vaccine we can no longer from today onwards be proud we can no longer sit back and remain silent on the senseless unlawful killings sly racism of another human being based only on what their skin color we need to speak out in peaceful demonstrations, just like today, so well done Watford, inject the vaccine. We must not use a demonstration for selfish motives and turn it into rioting and looting. We need to be united in non-violent demonstrations, show them where it hurts, abstain from spending your money in their shops and in economies and invest in black owned businesses. And that's for all communities if you want to uplift yourself, invest in your own businesses. We have to engage with the youth. I completely agree with that. And put an end to black youth gang culture. I'm going to be real with you about gang culture. I'm down to ride 100%. But what you have to realise is done. It is done. Trust me. Unless you want to be sitting in jail, spending years upon years of your only life that you have, thinking about, yeah, they can lock the locks, but they can't stop the clocks. That's all done because there's too much cameras, too much intelligence. All the OGs that I know are telling me, bro, it's finished. It's finished. Gang life is finished. And that's what we're saying. I know that I'm not promoting no gangster business. I'm a legit, um, straightforward uh, hustler. That's just in my DNA and in my blood. But I know I've taken my street knowledge and put it into the uh, corporate world and I've gained a lot of respect in that sense. So anyway, gang culture is done. So where was I? We have to engage with the youth and put an end to black youth gang culture. This postcode war. How many houses do we own on that postcode that we're fighting for? Mm -hmm. Let's inject the vaccine. Every life matters. 100% I agree with that. But that does include black lives, and that's why we're here today. True. George Floyd, we're all aware of his name, was the catalyst in a list that is already way, way, way too long. But ask yourself a question. How does the looting for the latest flat screen TV help him or his family? How does burning down shops and taking another life stop the virus from spreading? And remember the virus we're talking about is racism. Mm -hmm. Killing a person outright 
is unforgivable. But stripping them of their human rights, oppressing them, mocking them, insulting them, placing glass ceilings above them just because of what? Their skin color is just a slow way of killing them and taking the life out of their soul. We must unite as the human race. And that's what we're doing here today. So once again, thank you very much. We must not remain silent. And I know a lot of people here, you know, sometimes it's, it's hard to talk out against racism. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I'm not going to, I grew up in Meriden Estate, and, but people knew not to fuck with me anyway. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> Growing up in it, like, I'm a minority there anyway, but I just, I, I went about getting my own respect. It's now one of them things where you have to feel a bit awkward. If you want to joke about who I am, where I come from, my heritage, my lips, my nose, my eyes, my skin, um, the food I eat, don't really feel too comfortable around me anyway. I'm not too sure about anyone else, but don't feel too comfortable around me trying to joke about that stuff because I'm proud of who I am. And if you would like to know about my heritage, you ask rather than belittling. So that's first and foremost, that's important. And as the young lady said, don't ask to touch your hair and stuff like that. It's not. So... We are saying we must unite as a human race. We must not remain silent. Just as the government introduced measures to COVID-19, rate of R to below one, we must do the same and use our vaccine to reduce the rate of infection of what? Of racism, exactly. By your actions, use the vaccine. By your words, use what? By your mindset, use what? We are the vaccine. We are the vaccine. So that was a a few words from my friend Reese, who couldn't make it here today so thank you all for listening but i hope you can all take something away from today whether it's individually or community wise so these are my own words i didn't really plan anything i'm not really into the public speaking stuff unless it's like a question and answer type of thing so um the reason why i haven't gone to like hyde park or stuff like that because i feel like i can go out there and i'm gonna definitely march and stand with my people but then I felt like I was always going to come back to my own community and there's always going to be the same issues that remain. So I thought, I'm going to stand with my brothers here and my sisters here and say, we need to kind of just come together as an African-Caribbean community and try like talk about some of our own solutions. I'm not going to say issues because it's too much of a negative word because I'm trying to find solutions. So, you know, amongst me and my brothers, I'm all about like economic change. I'm all about the money. I've always been that way since I was a young kid, which is a language that everyone understands is getting to the money. So with that being said, um, we have the mayor and the councillor here, right? Somewhere. Somewhere here, if we can bring them forward, please. The councillor. Yeah. And what else I find interesting is we need more uh, African Caribbean people in the police force to understand our culture so they don't have to racially profile us so that's another subject for another day but mr councillor how are you i'm fine thank you and can i just say thanks everybody for coming here thank you for the organizers it just shows how united people are it's a really really you know, gives me a heart to see young people on a core issue yeah marcus garvey okay do you know who marcus garvey is of course. yeah he said now, when you liberate the man, when you, liberate the you man. only liberate the mind, yeah, yeah. what do you do? You liberate the man. Yeah. That's the key thing. Yeah. Because there's a disease in people's minds, which is racism. Yeah. That you're just enslaving people's minds. Yeah. And once that is freed, you will liberate man. Not just the black, not just the Asian, not every just single... The not just the white, that's the whole of humanity. And that's what is what I can see today. The pleasure... Oh, what you're saying. Can I say just thanks, AJ? Everyone, say thanks. AJ, thank for coming. Come on. Yeah. Come on. One, one, one Meriden boy says welcome. <laughs> 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 I'm Meriden as well. So, um, so now I've got you here, right? Okay, what I think I'd like to say is that I've learned that, you know, from my da dad's generation, if you grew up in Watford, um, who knew about the Get Set Club? Cheese! Okay, I don't know. Cheese! Valid, you have to know about the Get Set Club, yeah? <laughs> but uh, sure no, black people life we are suffering a long time, a long time a day on our foot, right? And we are still for police street us and see uh, we see I see on the police street, we are see on the council of robbery and thief we are stripped and totally for everything. Yeah. Mm. Building given to the black community and what for by the Holy Cray Shopping Centre, mm. yeah the council racially taken away from we. Yeah. 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 But that's what I wanna speak about. It's not an issue with the council. I understand that there's a lack of housing. 
to some of the buildings that you did give to us once, it's an important matter of the council to house the community. So where we're coming from now, from the Watford Alliance, the WA movement, as I said, it's about economic change, right? So that's what I'm saying is that us as brothers, we've come together and no matter the cost, we are looking for maybe a derelict building that isn't being used for housing, that we can purchase the freehold so our community can accommodate all of these people where we can come together without disturbing any neighbours, a detached premises, somewhere isolated, even if you give us a permission to build something in the back of Cassifree, where we can come together and unite and discuss about the issues that we face, where kids haven't got to go home to no parents because they're working two jobs because the issue is when kids are finishing school at three and their mum and dad are working nine till six where do they go so that's what i'm saying we are not talking about can we have we're saying we have our own funds our own means and we want to put back into the community so we just need confirmation from the council that you are going to support our independent um plea with you that this is a community issue that we're trying to face. As I said, I'm not outside in London. We're here in the community saying, how can we support our own people independently? We want to approach local businesses, whether it's the meat shop at the end of the month and say, boss man, before you throw away any meat, we might take that into our um, premises. We might go to Primark before the autumn season's out. The microphone's done. Yeah, before the autumn season's out and you get rid of all them clothes, we might take that into our premises. And if you think about how far that can go and how far that can stretch, by having the premises, it might save someone £200 a month because they haven't got to worry about meat uh, shopping or clothes shopping for their kids. So we're going to approach the council, which is a local um, support network for people. We're not asking for anything except for premises. We have the funds to put back into the community and we're going to approach local businesses. And when people are looking for jobs, Primark, look, we need to know what type of people are you looking for? Managers, um, stock, what's it, stock room people, stock, assistant, yeah. stock assistants and stuff like that. So all these type of things, yeah. which we're going to do as a community, but we yeah. need confirmation that you can help us get these premises. So I want to ask you in front of everyone here, yeah. with that plea, whether it costs six figures, seven yeah. figures, we want to put back into the community. Are you able to aid our plea with you that we need something for the community where we can teach people, teach the kids, okay. house the kids? You know, uh, 100% I'll be supporting you and let's let me arrange something. <laughs> 100% ain't enough. We need 110%. <laughs> I'll give you 200%. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, it's a new age, a new dawn, and a new era. Trust this me. Is the, thing. the older generation are going to make sure we take care of our youngers. Do you know what I mean? Because you know how it is when the older's all washed and all that type of stuff. But we all stand strong together and we're going to move forward in a positive yeah. way. We need a premises so we can congregate, discuss. Because look, we have to come out in the open right now. Imagine it was pouring down with rain. Yeah. We need somewhere where we can go and we have shelter, we have heat, we have electric. And I'm saying it's not about what you can give to us. We will purchase it from you. We will put money back into the council. Come on. That's all we want from no, you is an opportunity, idea. yeah? Let's arrange something and we'll, we'll be in contact. Absolutely. Let's arrange something. Come on. Come on. Yo, run the rhythm, boss. Yo, run the rhythm. Run the rhythm. Selector. Selector. Run the rhythm. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. What for the Lions? Thank you again for Thank putting you. this on for everyone, man. Black to lives. the council. Matter. Black lives. Matter. Black lives. Black lives. Matter. Black lives. Matter. What matters? Black lives. What matters? Black lives. Okay. Positive energy only. In honor of George Floyd.